guys. Today I'm going to cook a pork chop in the air fryer. I bought this value pack of pork chops, pork sirloin chops at Safeway. Uh, these were $2.99 a pound, so $17.40 for these. There was six pork chops in there, about like this. So they're nice, good-sized chops. The first two I cooked in the crock pot, and they came out a little dry. And last night I cooked one in the air fryer, just cooked it hot and fast at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And it came out real juicy, so I'm going to do this one that way. So I'm going to season it with some kosher salt here. And some Johnny's seasoned pepper. Besides pepper, this has sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. Now flip it over and do the other side. Now we'll put this in the air fryer. This is an eight quart air fryer. Now we'll set this to air fry. At 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to set the timer on my phone. I'll tell you guys how long that takes. This preheats for about five minutes before the timer actually starts. This has been cooking for 11 minutes, including the preheat time. So let me take a look at it here. Wow, that looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to um, flip it over here. A mistake <laughs> well that fell off on the floor so what did we just learn here make sure this cooking tray or basket or whatever you call it is not too close to the edge of the counter so anyway and now that we got it back we'll put it back in there and let it finish cooking all right this has been cooking for about 18 minutes total I'm gonna check it I'm trying not to make that mistake again that looks good all right make sure i get enough room on the edge of the counter there one thing about my channel if i make a mistake i'll always show you that learn from your mistakes okay now a pork chop should be 145 degrees fahrenheit minimum to be done okay that is that's over that it's like 159 right there 170 right there put it near the bone right there we're like 158 so we're good we're cooked through so but I say that was about 18 minutes total cooking time but it kind of screwed things up a little because it fell on the floor I had to pick it back up so it cooled off a little bit but it looks like it's good so we'll put it on a plate and see how it turned out I think this chop is a little leaner. I don't think it has as much fat as the one I cooked last night, so it might not be quite as juicy, but we'll see. Plus, I had that little mishap that kind of screwed up the cooking time a little bit, but we'll see. All right, well, looks cooked through. Actually, it's not dry. It doesn't look bad. All right, try a bite here. It's not bad. It's a little drier than the one I cooked last night, but the one I cooked last night had more fat in it. Plus, we had that little mishap, so it had to probably uh, preheat a little longer and to get back up to temperature. But anyway, I have some applesauce in the fridge, so I'll just pull that out and dip, dip it in the applesauce. Pork chops and applesauce. All right, let's see what Annie thinks. Want to try it, Annie? There you go. Well, it looks like it's anti approved. So, what did we learn today? Make sure your air fryer is not too close to the edge of the counter, or your food will fall on the floor when you're trying to turn it over. <laughs> anyway, it's just lessons learned, no big deal. I'll write everything in the description, like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.